Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, August 26th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today. Where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got primetime games, West Coast games to get into. So uh, no waiting around here. 640 Eastern, 340 Pacific in PNC Park. As you can see behind me, the Chicago Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. NL Central battle with Mitch Keller on the hill for the Pirates. Jamison Tyon going for the Cubbies. Total of eight, minus 110. That's the Pirates as the short home favorite. They come in with six games under 500, but they have won three of their last four against the Cincinnati Reds. The Cubs come in a game under 500, winning two of three over the Miami Marlins. That was down in Miami, now making the trip here to Pittsburgh. No off day for travel. But really the story here, guys, Jamison Tyon, 3-7 3-7 ERA, the Cubs hurler, but in August, something's up. He's just 1-3, giving up seven home runs. He's got a 7 ERA, a 6 FIP, kind of looking to fade Tyon right now in his current form. And he's up against Mitch Keller here. Home road splits are a, are a big thing with Keller. For whatever reason, 2-5 ERA when pitching in Pittsburgh. And almost a five ERA when pitching on the road. Well, he's pitching at home here in his last time out. He actually went seven innings, just three hits, blanking the Texas Rangers with a nine to zero strikeout to walk ratio. Like Keller's current form here, guys. I think this number's short on the home favorite. Let's jump on the Pirates, minus 110 over the Cubs to lead us off here for the week. Next one up, we'll head to our nation's capital. It's the Washington Nationals hosting the New York Yankees. Nestor Cortez and Mitchell Parker in the Battle of Southpaws here. Yanks come in, minus 180 road favorites, total of nine, 77 and 54 on the season. That's the Bronx Bombers. And also 41 and 25 on the road. They've been road warriors here. They just won two of three against the Colorado Rockies, but the game they lost, they were minus 300 favorites. So watch out laying that heavy juice here uh, come towards the end of the regular season in MLB. They're up against the Nationals, 59 and 72 on the season. Just lost two of three to the Atlanta Braves. And their starter here, Mitchell Parker, he has been a lot better at home. You know, he's kind of got that home road dichotomy as well, but. I don't know. Some of the better lineups have gotten after him and he's up against the Yankees here. I mean, the number one lineup in baseball overall. However, they have struggled a little bit against lefties. We'll see if they can kind of get over that hump. I think the angle here, guys, is their starter, Nestor Cortez for the Bronx Bombers. He's seven and 10 on the season. You know, not a great season overall for him. But back-to-back seven innings, three hits, zero earned runs against the Guardians in the White Sox. That stat line was in both of those games, just three hits over seven innings each. And sure enough, did a little research. He added a changeup to his arsenal. It seems to be working. So sometimes adding a little pitch here, you know, keeping the the batters off balance, it's obviously helped him the last two times out. I think he's going to have another good start here against the Nationals. I don't love the price, minus 180, but hey, they are the road team. They got that lineup, number one overall in MLB. So let's go jump on the run line here, guys. I think it sets up well. Minus 110, so we get down from that minus 180 number. They got to win by two. So it's uh, minus one and a half run line on the Bronx Bombers over the Nationals. Next one up, we're heading to Minnesota. It's the Atlanta Braves and the Minnesota Twins. Bailey Ober going for the Twins. Max Fried, the lefty, going for the Bravos. It was Braves minus 110. Now it's Twins minus 115, so a 25-cent line move since I started doing the research early this morning. Total of eight here. I agree with the line move, guys. I think the Twins is the side here, mainly because, well, Max Freed overall, you know, this season hasn't been what we kind of got to know with Max Freed in past seasons. It's not one of his better seasons, but even more so of recent. 12 walks in his last three starts, so he's having some control issues. His last time out against the Phillies was solid, but the three starts before that were rough. I'm not looking to jump on Max Fried here. And he's up against Bailey Ober for the Twins. I mean, since Flag Day, June 14th, two flat ERA. He's pitched 73 innings, only given up 43 hits. This guy's been lights out. 80 to 16 strikeout to walk ratio. The Twins, a top 10 lineup over the last two weeks. They've been great against lefties. And they're facing a lefty here in Max Fried. Hey, overall, guys, I agree with the line move. 
it's it's not a good thing we didn't jump on it earlier, but still, 15 cents, I think it's short. It's the Twins over the Braves. Heading to St. Louis for our next matchup, 745 Eastern, 445 Pacific. San Diego Padres, St. Louis Cardinals. Kyle Gibson going for the Redbirds. Randy Vasquez going for the Friars. Nine and a hook being the total. Pick them price tag on both sides. Cardinals come in 500 for the year. The Padres, remember, one of the hottest teams in baseball after the All-Star break. They're now 74 and 58. Kyle Gibson, the 36-year-old Missouri product, starting here for the Cardinals. 420 ERA, 420 FIP. He's pretty much pitched in line with that, you know, kind of average statistics for an MLB hurler. He did go up against the Padres, his first start of the season, all the way back in April. Seven innings, four hits, two earned runs. Solid start, but that was a long time ago. This Padres lineup has uh, hit righties a lot better, more so, like at least after the All Star break. It's a tough handicap in terms of the Padres starter, 25 year old Dominican born Vasquez. He was actually just called up from AAA El Paso to make this start. And when he before he was sent down, I mean, he had just short of a five ERA and FIP in the major leagues, 101 hits given up in 81 innings. So not not great production in the show. And even more so in the two starts in the minors, he gave up 10 earned runs and only seven innings com completed. So since being sent down, it's not like he worked on things and, and got a lot better. I mean, it's not there in the metrics. So I know the minor league stats don't always translate, you know, to MLB, but I don't think that's a bet on situation here, guys. So both starters going up against, you know, lineups that are a lot more talented against righties than lefties. So I think it's, we're, we're setting up for some offense here, guys. I think we get some crooked numbers and bunches. Both bullpens have struggled a little bit. I mean, the Padres bullpen is coming around, but nine and a hook, it is a little tall, but, I think we get the double digits here, and it's plus 100 on the over. So nine and a half plus 100. We're going up and over in the Padres Cardinals game. One game left. A reminder, if you could comment below, it does help out the algorithm. Looking to grow the show. Your MLB picks are welcome. Hey, and if you're up against me, that's fine as well. I know a lot of you guys chiming in last week. We, we did have a down week for sure, but we bounced back on Saturday. So even if you're trolling down there, Came back at you. We went four and one plus four units, but a down week overall. Looking to uh, start this week off hot, though, guys. So uh, one game left. And a reminder, if you are uh, interested in premium picks, it's $5 customer appreciation day. That's Monday here. Wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. All plays discounted to just $5. All right, last game up, 840 Eastern, Miami Marlins, Colorado Rockies. Battle between 1993 MLB expansion teams. Edward Cabrera on the hill for the fish. And I, I was waiting to do the show because this is a game I actually had circled that that I liked. I'm still seeing undecided for the Colorado Rockies. The Wager Talk Live odd screen is showing a couple numbers. I'm not sure if they're live. I couldn't find them on any of my books, but did do some research here. I think it's actionable when the lines do come out. Both teams, you know, miserable seasons overall. What, 48 and 83. In Colorado, if you're looking to bet on the Rockies, you want to be betting on them in Coors Field. The problem is it's their first game home. I, I don't like that one for the schedule spot. Maybe tomorrow look to be, be betting more on the Rockies. They just finished a series at Washington, at New York. So no off day for travel for them, nor, nor for Miami. But actually doing the research for this matchup on the field, the Marlins starter, Edward Cabrera, 26-year-old Dominican-born pitcher, I was actually looking to go against him. I was surprised by this. He's already made two starts in Coors Field in his young career. He's gone 12 innings with a sub one whip, 0 0.9 whip, and a sub 600 team OPS against. Those are great numbers when pitching a mile high. So for whatever reason, he's not flustered by the thin air, you know, pitching there in Coors. I'd actually look to bet on that, guys. So I, I would guess, you know, it's tough with an undecided pitcher for the Rocks right now. Let me know in the comments below if, if, if you're seeing one. But overall, guys, I would be looking to bet on the fish here. I mean, I wore the Marlins hat for a reason. So uh, I would look to list Edward Cabrera. I mean, I wouldn't lay a big price, anything like that. But I, who knows? We might even get it at a, a, a plus price or near a pick em. So that's the way I would look in the nightcap, guys. The fish over the Rockies listing Edward Cabrera. In recap, we got the Padres and Cardinals up and over nine and a half plus money on that. 
We got the Twins, minus 115 over the Atlanta Braves. Yankees, minus the run line over the Nationals. And the Pittsburgh Pirates leading us off, minus 110 over the Chicago Cubs. That does it for Monday's Drew's Daily Diamond. Smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.